I'm studying um, cold matter in my PhD. Um, so I'm making ice cream here, but cold matter is a lot, lot colder than that. We're cooling atoms and molecules down to millikelvins and microkelvins. Um, the main applications for cold matter physics is in precision me measurements. Um, so they're used in things like atomic clocks and quantum computers as well. Being in physics isn't like what you might imagine from watching shows like The Big Bang Theory. My day-to-day -day revolves around going into the lab uh, trying to run the experiment, um, if there's something wrong with it or if there's improvements I need to make I will do that. That could involve building some new electronics or actually physically building new parts of the experiment, adjusting some mirrors and the optics, things like that. I sometimes write my own software to do things inside the experiment as well which I really really enjoy. My father is running a Japanese restaurant and my mother is an artist and they actually both really wanted me to study law. They really wanted me to be a lawyer and have a steady job with a good income. So when I told them when that I wanted to do a physics degree they were a little bit surprised but they had to think about it and they realised how qualified a physics degree makes you, how employable it makes you. There are certain procedures that you have to do which are very systematic, like build a new power supply, that's a very systematic thing, and you have to learn how to do electronic engineering in a traditional way to make these things. But other parts of it is you're facing problems that have never been encountered before, so there's no way of solving them without being extremely creative because you're going to be the first one to do it. That's the amazing thing about it. You're doing things that no one's ever done before and things that you never thought you could do.